We have a very, very honest, brutally honest <laughs> relationship. We do. We do have a good relationship, I think. Which is, I think all relationships should be brutally honest. I agree. Yeah. A lot uh, of people don't like that, though. They don't like your honesty. So you have to make sure you save it for the people who actually are interested in hearing it. Oh, Not I just strangers. I don't. I don't save it for it. I, I do it with everyone. I just feel like you just, you, why do you want to guess how I'm feeling? You know how I'm feeling if I'm honest with you. So, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> that was not honest. Um, so let's talk about your love life. Right now you're in, uh, in flux. I, I read the book. It's a great book, and it's very, very revealing. And, uh, but you, uh, you were looking forward to the M Mueller report, and now what's... I'm sexually attracted to Robert Mueller, and I, <laughs> I'll explain why. I have a daddy issue, because I, I talk about that in my book. I've been attracted to older men for quite some time. The problem is, as I get older, it, then they get really old. Yep. You know yep. what I mean? <laughs> so you have to kind of condense that margin and slim it down and just thin the herd. But I was willing to make an exception for Robert Mueller, because he's in his early 70s. From what I can tell, underneath his business attire, there is a six to eight pack, still. <laughs> So any man in their 70s, he was a Marine. If you can keep your act together for that long, I want to talk about penetration. <laughs> I mean, what you just did felt very judgy. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Not at all. But you know what? I have to be honest. When I was reading it, I didn't know if you were being sarcastic or no. if you really meant it. Just like when you texted me when Letterman was on, you said you could see, you could feel the sexual chemistry, and I didn't know if that was sarcasm or you really thought that me and Letterman had sexual chemistry. Was that sarcasm? What do you think? Well, <laughs> now I think it was sarcasm. Well, I said the sexual chemistry between you and David Letterman was palpable. palpable. Yeah. I watched you at the nail salon. Yeah. Yeah, I work there now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but really, so, so you're attracted to Mueller, and now what do you feel? I'm, I'm not going to give up on him. I have to read the report to give my report on Bob Mueller. So I am still f hoping... I know he's married, and I, I respect that, but I, that doesn't mean I don't have the feelings I have. And, <laughs> and I just want to communicate, you know what I mean? Right. With him, uh, preferably. But if I can't communicate to him directly, I'll do this on TV until he contacts me. OK. <laughs> Okay. I doubt he will. <laughs> I mean, this could push him away. It he could... seems more... Oh, did... I saw a big picture of him go up. There yeah. he is. Yes. Yeah. See, and I also Googled him one night. I was with my best friend, Mary McCormick, and sometimes we fantasize about what he drinks when he gets home at night, how many ice cubes he right. uses. Scotch, you one, know, one ice he... cube. Yeah, scotch, one ice cube, right. tidy whities or boxers. Right. Um, and, and she also has those feelings for him, so we're not alone. There's a whole community, I think, of Mueller mm. lovers. <laughs> It's just you too. I well, th I mean, you could say that, but you're not attracted to men anyway. That's so not true. <laughs> That's not true. I'm attracted to men. Name I just one man you're attracted to. Uh, oh God, a lot. Quickly. Uh, Ryan Gosling. Um, uh, um, Justin Timberlake. Uh, yeah, all right. I mean, Andy. 